Just because I wear a big clock, you know what I'm saying, and glasses, and I tell you 911 is a joke, that don't mean I should be raising your kids. Now, I don't believe the hype. I should be a role model, G. Yo, I teach your kids how to rhyme, you know? Show them some moves on the court. Yo, who knows? Maybe they'll be rocking jock heroes like me. Boy! Set out together, I'm knocking and rocking, jocking MTV and MBG and then stopping and watching, rocking and popping and shot clocking. Waiting since the weekend and start peeping the freaking by the meeting of the two batter squads on sneakers squeaking. Lordy, I'm sporty with the set shot, a shorty that gets hot. Loud as the crowd, cause I'm naughty by net shot. MTV gets props, losing borrow sorrow. Say hey ho, but play though like ain't no tomorrow. When, when we're up, I'm a sing sing like Sybil. Grab your giggles and break up the board after I dribble. I'm hitting trees from a new spot, my crew's got news. I stop wildin' or I'm fouling and juicing. Like Tupac. Check out the stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch MTV rock and jock and jock. Welcome to MTV's third annual Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam presented by Coca-Cola Classic. Hi everybody, I'm Steve Albert and today I'm joined by the newest member of the MTV sports family, John Stewart. Thank you very much, Steve. I'm excited to be here. It's going to be an unbelievable game. And let's not forget about our beautiful and talented sideline reporter, Daisy Fuentes. Hey you, I'm Daisy. We're in the locker room and are these guys pumped or what? <laughs> Can you fight? Well, I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Lois is over Lottie's house last night talking about Superman ain't all that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, hey, hey. What do you usually do before you play? Uh, usually eat a big meal and throw up right before a game. I got a big, big problem with Rick Mahorn. I predict pain. Serious. Let's have new scripts, man. Study my playbook, my scripts. <laughs> you need a script to play basketball? What's up with that? Tip for the tat, the butter for the fat. You kill our dog, we'll slay your cat. <laughs> the players are ready. The fans are definitely ready. Are we ready? We certainly are, John. And tonight, our defending champs will attempt to repeat. So how about a nice warm welcome for the Bricklayers? He gets his kicks on Route 66. MTV Sports poster boy, Dan Cortez. Black Crows drummer, Steve Gorman. I got nothing else to do. His showmanship turns any basketball court into a stage. Cooper Mark Jackson. Go, oh, baby, let's go. Star of the hit TV show, Lois and Clark, Dean Kane. I am not Superman. I just play him on TV. He plays basketball in the films White Men Can't Jump and Above the Rim. Thespian hoopster, Wayne Martin. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get started. He the baddest of the bad boys, a master of mayhem, Rick Mahorn. Keep that camera up and you with it. You can usually catch him greasing up his body and performing mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Bay watches David Charvay. We're good killer. Holy Toledo, it's former Buckeye, Jimmy Jackson. I want Dan Moore, that's what I want. <laughs> Star of the upcoming Eight Seconds to Glory, young writer Stephen Baldwin. Yo, all I know is I do not have the feeling for the flavor of the flavor. This fashionable trailblazer makes a statement with his headbands. Here's Clifford Robinson. Bill Bellamy's going to get dunked on. She's a general manager who hopes her team doesn't need to be saved by the bell. Tiffany Amber Theason. I'm not playing, but I'm gonna make them look good. Yo, MTV Raps, Ed Lover. I'm the man. That's right. They've suffered two heartbreaking defeats. Please give a warm rock and jock welcome to The Violators. MTV funny man, Bill. This star of true romance has a truly romantic notion. Hitting the winning shot, Michael Rappaport. I am Rappaport, and the bricklayers are getting scraped. Los Angeles' number one import, Bloody Steve. So sad because Steve's not here. Winner of four MTV Video Music Awards, Pearl Jam's Jeff Amen. The bricklayers don't have a hope. This rapper might be naughty by nature, but his basketball game is nice. Hey, G! Jersey Flavin' in the house. Yeah, There's no hill no town. The sun always shines on relentless rim rocker, Dan Marley. Oh, I gotta win at least one championship this year. 
He's more than super. He's supersonic. Gary Payton. They're going to name this place after me tonight. Beverly Hills, 90210's newest heartthrob, Paul Johansson. Don't fake the funk for the nasty dunk. In his day, no one loomed larger than Oscar Robertson, the big O. That is, until this man, the really big O, Oliver Miller. What's up, baby? Hey! Yeah, boy! Rockin' Chuck, babe! Labor! Play! That's right, bro. You gonna rock the half. Say hello to a legend, violator coach, Kareem. Official opening of the basketball season, the third annual MTV Rock and Jock B Ball Jam. We're here with stars from music, film, television, and basketball to throw around the rock in a futuristic, post apocalyptic MTV style. Our game benefits the Pediatric AIDS Foundation and pits the bricklayers coached by Ed Lover against Kareem Abdul Jabbar's Violators. MTV Rock and Jock rules prevail. A 10 point shot is in effect, as well as the penalty box. No blood, no foul. Anybody got the number for 911? Dollar joke. The last two minutes of each quarter feature a shot so incredible we had to add a special rim. Yeah, the 25 point shot. Now that's flavor, baby. All right, we're just mere moments away from the opening tip, so I think we should quickly review our starting lineups, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I'm general manager of the Bricklayers, and frankly, I'm kind of worried about my squad. Ed Lever is coaching and playing. We're not amused. Cortez is so worried about how he looks, he won't even concentrate. Will Jackson hustle? Can we keep Mahorn's attitude in check? Even Superman Dean Kane has weakness. Kryptonite. And the Violators seem tougher. And then was MVP last year. Marley's Mr. Hustle, even Bellamy's show is called Jams. Diva won't want to disappoint his hometown crowd, and Flavor Flav is a basketball time bomb waiting to explode. This game should go down to the final bell. Well, I mean buzzer. It's anyone's game. Tremendous crowd on hand here at the Brent Event Center at the University of California, Irvine, home of the Anteaters. It'll be Rock and Jock softball veteran Flavor Flav making his B-ball jam debut. Flav will handle the opening tip for the Violators against 6'10", 260-pound Rick Mahorn. Flav at 5'7", 130 pounds. Seems fair. I think so, John. Yeah, why not? You Hollins, the chief referee working along with Ed T. Rush and Greg Willard, defending champion bricklayers, will be wearing the black uniforms, the Violators in green. And Flavor, look out, Dan Marley and Dean Kane coming our way, and John Stewart showing that he still has the reflexes. I had to jump out of the way. Flav, what was up with that? He was aiming for me. Dan Marley gets it into Flavor Flav, number one half. You can't miss him. And we are underway. Here's a steal by Mark Jackson of the LA Clippers, and the Bricklayers guns it down to Dan Cortez, who blows the layup. No poise, no poise. Jeff Ahmed. Of Pearl Jam. That's a stolen by the new Superman, Dean Kane. The long shot by Bill Bellamy. Three nothing pointer. but net from three. And it's there it is. Violators. Run the L. Cortez taking charge. John quarterbacking. Off it goes to Go. Ed Lover. Player coach Ed Lover. Play, play. Fire from the outside. Ed Lover who played with the CBA's Columbus Horizon one game last season, has bypassed the NBA and made it to the big time, the Rock and Jock. Bellamy off the mark. Dean Kane out of the pack. Runs into Vladi Divac, who ah, pokes it foul, free. Body. But Greg 12. Willard calls the foul. Black ball. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is with us. And Kareem, you have done a stupendous job assembling the Violators team, uh, particularly with the salary cap restrictions. Uh, they they look like a well-oiled, extremely disciplined machine. Congratulations. How did you do it? Well, I, it wasn't up to me. I just just went with what they gave me, you know? He's so modest. He's, He's so really modest. <laughs> He'll help. By the way, John, it's 14-3 bricklayers. Just in case anybody was wondering, with 650 remaining in the first. I, I actually first. was wondering, because I didn't know where the score was, but now I know. It's right here. I pointed out to John oh, Stewart. Nice. It's right above us. I like that. Rick Mahorn with the turnaround. He comes up empty, and Divac will bring it down the floor. And lost the handle. So there's 
a timeout on the floor with the score of the Bricklayers 14, the Violators 3. Back with more of MTV's third annual Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam after this. Fast break. Block, pop, and block. Block a shot, stop and watch and BB rock and jock and jock and jock. Then block, block a shot, stop and watch and BB rock and jock and jock and jock. We are honored to be joined by Chris Robinson of the Southern Fried hey, Rockers, the I'm Black honored. Crows. <laughs> well, Clifford Robinson lets it go, and then it is put in on the follow. Here's Flavor Flav. He's got some room at the baseline. And there's your man, Chris Steve Gorman. And Lonnie Divac with the reverse. Chris Robinson of the Black Crows sitting between yours truly, Steve Albert, and John Stewart. David Charvet with a gorgeous move, but he couldn't finish the play. That move was so Baywatch. That was so Baywatch. Well done, John. Hey, Chris, do you guys play a lot of hoop on the road when you're out there? Well, you know, not really. You know? And we get to be too paranoid and uptight and schizophrenic about breaking things, bones, fingers, I hands. mean outside. Oh, okay. They're not in the hotel. Yeah, 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 of course, you know. And um, it really gets in the way of just being completely and totally out of it and a part of America's new counterculture. Long bomb by Jeff Ahmet. Here's Flavor Flay for three. Clifford Robinson gets the rebound. Down to Dwayne Martin, a one-time New York Knick, now an actor. And it is stolen away by Dan Martin of the Sun. A two-on-one. See, Bellamy. Exactly. See, that's what you do. The fast break, baby. Hey, Gorman's got the ball. That's, Gorman's that's going. That's kind of game. Yes, Steve Gorman flips it back to Clifford Robinson. No. Gorman going for the assist. Not a selfish man. Well put. He's and a lovely Jimmy player. How about his? It is now 1917 in a close battle. The bricklayers by two. To think someone like Steve Gorman quit a career in synchronized swimming to do this. Unbelievable. And then to play drums in the Black Crows. He's been on the professional bowling circuit. The man is poetry in motion, no question. Chris, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Good luck to you and the Black Crows. The bricklayers inbound. And here comes David Charvet, going all the way, stripped at the last moment by Michael Rappaport. Nice hands by Rappaport. And yet Charvet's hair has not moved throughout the first quarter. Very I, surprising. I noticed that brought his own hairstylist as uh, Clifford Robinson goes for the slam. Here's Paul Johansson of Beverly Hills 90210. Looking for three. Gary Payton of the Supersonics swings it back to Oliver Miller, who looks just great. What a pass to KG. Unbelievable. Oliver Miller, right? you got a good one of the top ten. Thanks, John Stewart, Wayne Martin off the mark, Michael Rappaport of True Romance. Man, Rappaport is so pale. Look at him. He's not even white. He's clear. Well, he flew from New York. Jimmy Jackson of the Dallas Mavericks. Former number four overall pick back in 92 out of Ohio State. Paul Johansson. This is Rappaport going baseline. Walk, 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 walk. Thank you. 21 all, 253 left in the first. And a three-pointer by Jimmy Jackson. Hey, yo, get more Jackson on the court. KG for three. They are really launching from afar. Stolen by Rappaport. Blocked by Charvet. What a defensive play by Charvet. Hey, let's see the stuff by Charvet. White on white. You got to love that. Huh? Nice play. MTV making history again, John. Innovative as always. Right up there with Charlie Finley's orange baseball, the ABA's red, white, and blue basketball, and Bill Vex's midget, Eddie Goodell. Can't forget that. Please welcome, for the first time in sports history, the 25-point basket. Oh, we got the 25-point, and we got that all hooked up. I'm going to make it from the sideline. I got Stephen Baldwin in now. He's our special team 25-point shooter. That's why I put him in right now. He's ready. He's prepped up. He put a little rosin on his finger so the ball won't slip. Yes, the 25-pointer will be implemented in the last two minutes of each quarter. 
It is 25 24 violators as the 25 point basket is lowered. So mark that score down for all of you who are scoring at home. 159 remaining in the first period. Here's Rick Mahorn back to Mark Jackson. Watch closely by Rappaport. Another good defensive play by Rappaport. Oliver Miller now runs into a crowd. Peyton behind the back. Stolen by Cortez. Down to Mark Jackson. He stops and pops. Going for the 25. Almost got two. Here's Rappaport. Down to KG. KG for two. Naughty by nature. Could have gone for 25. He decided to play it safe. KG, very conservative. 27 24 violators. Things really heating up. Cortez for three. Dean Kane, the new Superman, flying for that one. Mark Jackson for 25. Hits the three instead off the glass. He's a wizard. Oh, brother. Mark Jackson, I almost thought I saw a hint of his old maneuver, the helicopter, after he scored. And a foul. Is that Horn on the foul? Uh, just for argument's sake, I'll say yes. Miller's a foul. Yes, another MTV innovation. We welcome Oliver Miller of the Phoenix Suns. Oliver, can you hear us? I can hear you too. This is the voice right, first of God. Oliver at the foul line. Yep. Miss it. Miss it. Noonan. That's two shots. Oliver, we don't want to no distract you. Miss it. Oliver, despite the distractions, able to hit the first. Oliver, I got to tell you, you look fabulous. Yeah, I'm working hard, baby. Trying to keep a job. Oh, I don't think there's any problem there. All right, all yours. Wait a minute. Is this legal? No, shut up. Slave violation. Shut up. Sit up, man. Just the wow. element of surprise. He took everybody by storm on that one. Look at Kareem's reaction. Look. Kareem is up in arms. He's, he's up in legs, too. He's up in the air. Jesus is big. Oh, oh, Rick. Oh. Rick Mahorn inside of Miller. Mahorn finally getting into the action here. The crowd still buzzing by that move by Oliver Miller. Look at this pass by Miller. You know something? Oh, Oliver, I got it. Oliver will do as well for a big man. Yes. And on his way to an MVP, behind the back, flipped by Jackson. Oh, what a save. Miller, going for 25. Same thing. Peyton for 25. <laughs> Miller for 25. Miller. Who's going to be the first? 25. I don't know, but Stephen Baldwin looks like somebody's 25. little brother out yes. there. At the buzzer. No. An amazing bit of basketball here at the end of the first quarter. It's the Bricklayers 29, the Violators 29. Daisy is standing by with Mark Jackson. You are the man. The first one to attempt that big 25.1. You attempted it once, no go. Attempted it twice and actually got the two-pointer. feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger. We will be back. I'm going to try it, and we're going to knock it down before it's over with. Any predictions at this point? The Bricklayers all the way. Thanks, Daisy. We'll have more second quarter action and bad boy Rick Mahorn talks some serious trash when the b-ball jam continues, so stick around. Check out the stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch him be rock and jock and jock and jock. Trash, but it takes a real man to back it up. Separate your glass. Plastic with a deposit. Recycle this. Where'd you learn how to sort? The post office? You're not fit to carry my recyclables. That's five cents you threw away, pal. You're not gonna ruin this planet, at least not why I'm still on it. Pick up after yourself. Chomp. It's garbage time. Stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch him be rock and jock and jock. Here we go. It's the start of quarter number two in the Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam tied at 29. The Bricklayers, the Violators, Steve Albert, John Stewart. And we also have Tiffany Amber Theosun of Saved by the Bell. Here is Clifford Robinson of the Portland Trailblazers. That makes Tiffany happy. Yes, very happy. Thank you. Right over Bellamy. Bellamy was powerless on that. I've never he's, seen he's, that before. He's such a small kid, you know? It's... Oh, Tiffany. Sorry, I'm sorry. 
You have done, oh, by the way, a fabulous job in assembling talent Thank for you. this ball club. Thank I don't know. you. I don't know how you pulled it off. Well, you know, they're talented, they're good looking, they're they're my boys. What can I say? What can you do with Charvet? Because he has thrown the ball out of bounds every time he's yeah, gotten it. Yeah, I know, I know. We're, we are having a little problem. I think with he's him. thinking about rescuing people. I, you know, I think game. so. I don't think he's used to the solid ground or the sand Very he's possible. used to, you know. Look at a little waterlogged, if you Absolutely. ask. Absolutely. Yeah. Steve Gorman of the Black Crows. Steve Gorman flips it off to Charvet, speak of the devil, on cue, misses it. Long feed down to Oliver Miller, looking for three. He stops and pops, and uh, no, he was actually was a in a ten ten-point pod there. My view was uh, blocked. Now, Oliver Miller can't save, went out of bounds. Our own uh, VJ from MTV, MTV Jam's Bill Bellamy, is red hot. He is a good ball player. And also has good moves there with his mouth. Martin. Oh. Nice by Dwayne Martin. Bill, Bill, what just happened there? What just happened there? I think Bill's out oh. of breath. Freddie. That was Johansson, oh. the Canadian national team. Oh. Oh. Johansson, the new heartthrob on Beverly Hills 90210. You know what's interesting? What's that? Canada invented basketball. Yes. And then they've sucked ever since. You, you did research. How does that happen? Dr. Stop. James Naismith. That's right. He's Canadian. Or at least he was. Miller. No, Miller's stealing the show here. Okay. He was looking for 10 again. He has 10 on his mind. Hey, wait a minute. What is that, John? I believe that. I think Oliver just wanted a jersey. By the way, these shirts make also lovely cocktail dresses. I noticed Don't that. Don't they? They're really long lower. on me. Absolutely. <laughs> a couple of sequins, low cut, boom. Exactly, heels. You're good to go. Here's an alley oop. Oh! All oh, right. Clifford Robinson. Blown away. From Major. Jimmy Jackson. Don't let him do that to you, Slim. Did y'all see that? Bill Bellamy, what just happened there? What just happened there, there Bill Bellamy? All right. Bill is deep in concentration. Really he's concentrating right because yes. he's losing. Oh, Bill, he was wow. He voiced yeah, the Bricklayers' yeah. general yeah. manager, yeah. Tiffany Amber Theason. We have a composure problem Rubbing for the violators. It. Dwayne. Yes, Dwayne Martin. Oh, what a block by Gary Payton. Paul Johansson for three. He can pop. And there's a timeout on the floor with 6.15 remaining in the second. It's the Bricklayers 38, the Violators 34. A big thank you to Tiffany Amber Theason of Saved by thank the Bell. You. Thank you. Good luck the rest you. of the season, Tiffany. Oh, thank you very much. We're about to stick it to them now. Give me uh, my fast five in there right now. All right, hey, look here. This ain't Baywatch, all right? When I get back in, I'm going to make the difference. I can't wait until that big basket come down for the 25 points. I'm a rocket. 6.15 left in the second. 38, 34, right, cool. Bricklayer. Dan Cortez asking John Stewart for a hair check. Very nice. I tell you, always looks nice. Always in place. Beautious. He's a consummate hair professional, no question. I just had the, a bowl of that before tonight's game. A consummate con hair professional. A consummate. Bill Bellamy, MTV Jams, looking for three. Uh, Bellamy looking a little like Ralph Bellamy, the way he's playing. Very much so. He's losing the legs, man. I see some bad blood developing here. Yes. As you know, things can get heated in Rock and Jock, particularly between Bellamy and Cortez. Oh, it's VJ on VJ. Yes. Things get a little ugly in there. All right, here comes Bellamy. Bellamy's walk coming up. up. Walk it up, walk it up. Clear it out. They're clear clearing out. Oh, get out right. the way. Now they're going. You don't want I want my man they're gone. You got one on one. This is going to be interesting. Cortez Come comes on. up. Come on, Bill. What you got for me? Ah. Ah. Boy, they are drawing ah. away. Bellamy. Oh. I can't be in a penalty box. I ain't doing anything. Yeah, you're in a penalty box. Trying to stop a you, fight. You are out of character. Yeah, I'm not out of you are not a nice guy. Cortez is an instigator. Don't, don't, even, don't even come over. That was not the instigator. That was not the instigator. If I wasn't wearing headphones. 
Fox. And Rick Mahorn has been given a flagrant foul sent into the penalty box. Mahorn preventing a fight. Let's go into the sin bin right now. I can't and it's going to be easy who is with Rick right 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 penalty box report. She's getting All right, wait. Rick, whoa. All right, enough. He's in. Wow. What's up with that? Hey, I don't know what's wrong with that referee. He's blind in both eyes. Do you think if the NBA had a penalty box, it would have added a few extra miles to your career? I think it would, but maybe it would have added a few miles to somebody else's career. Not now. I'm mad. What are you going to do that whole minute here in the penalty box? Well, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to order me some food. All right, I'd like to get um, a couple of Slim Jims for an appetizer. <laughs> I think we're going we're gonna to need what? How do you like your burger? Well done. Uh, well done cheeseburger here, cheeseburger here, french fries and a pickle, and I think that's about it. Steve, John, you want some? I'd love some. I'm, I'm very hungry. You know something, Steve? It's interesting. Rick Mahorn's angry and yet has a snack, and he calms right down. Let's see what exactly started the fight. And John Stewart, you sensed that this was about I to happen. I sensed it was danger. Here, here's what happens here. Cortez is obviously overmatched in basketball, so he uses his football skills. He uses his skills as a football player to actually do a chest tackle on Bill Bellamy. Look at this. Oh, he's copped the field, too. He got his right breast right in there. Meanwhile, look at this havoc. Look at this, John. Look at Johansson and Cortez together. You know something? They're very handsome. And here's Cortez trying to get at Bill Bellamy. Look at this, Stephen Baldwin carrying Actually Dan Cortez off. off the floor. And that's when all <laughs> heck, oh, hell can I say that word? I all heck can. broke loose. And now let's get back to the game. 526 left in the second. 40 to 34 bricklayers. All right, here we Bill, go. Bill Bill Bellamy, 86 me, man. Still upset. You can see it in his face. Bill. Bill, just take your time, man. Just take your time. Bill, cool off. Hey, Chill out. Let's fight behind you. <laughs> the Superman Dean Kane behind him. He makes the first. He remains Let's poised and confident. Tell Superman I got kryptonite, man. Bill, Bill Bellamy threatening Superman with kryptonite. Bill. Bill, just take care of him, Bill. Oh, he gave him a booty butt. That was a booty butt. Nicely done. And Dean came laughing in his face. Oh, he's Superman. You know. I guess he can do that. There's Dean. He's got x-ray vision. He saw Come through on, Bill's Dan. pants. Come on, baby. What's up? Bill wants a piece now. Watch no, me use the camera as a pick. The What's bad up? blood oh, rages oh, on between oh. Cortez and oh, Bellamy. Look at Miller this. shoving Cortez. Oh, and man. answer the call. Damn, I said they might read And one. Cortez. He can't buy one, John. Miller in the 10 point pot. You have to have at least one foot in there. Oh, get shot. Get the shot on. Do you know when we lost ah. control? I think about the opening tip. All right. Dean, Dean. Dean Kane. Outlets, Lieutenant for Mark Jackson. Nice play by Johan Johansson. It's nice to see yeah. Stephen Baldwin just woke up and came over. Isn't that nice? Stephen Baldwin, one of four brothers who all act. Hey. Also has a couple of sisters. You have some brothers, don't you? Never heard of them. Oh, oh. a 10-point shot by Dan Cortez. Well, that'll shut up a few people. And what a foul by Stephen Baldwin. I don't think Oliver moved on that. Let's take a quick look at that foul once again. Ba oh, look, Superman, hello. And then Baldwin falling. All right. Dan Marley to win bound. How about Flavor Flav? Flav? It's a 10-pointer. Flavor oh, Flav has it Flav. The relentless Mark Jackson fouled by Diva. And while Mark Jackson goes to the line, we'll take a quick timeout. Coming up, more second quarter action. Our NBA Players Slam Dunk Contest, a live performance by Tag Team, and much more. So don't go away. Check out the stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch him be rock and jock and jock and jock. Oh, you? You're Roger Murdoch, the co-pilot. Sorry, son. I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You must have me confused with somebody else. You are Murdoch. My dad and I fly your airline all the time. I think you should go back to your seat now. Remember, I'm a basketball player. I think you're great, but my dad says you can't land a paper airplane on a football field. He says you can't handle crosswinds and your nerves are shot. The hell they are. Who do you think is in charge of taxing to the gate and talking to the tower and checking the charts? 
You tell your dad to try navigating through cumulus clouds, breathing that recycled air with 400 drunken conventioneers screaming for more free drinks. Block, pop, and block, block a shot, stop and watch him rock. Welcome back to the Brent Event Center at Cal Irvine. Four and a half minutes to go in the second. 52 36 bricklayers, but it's still anybody's game. Here's Rick Mahorn, fresh out of the penalty box. Flavor Flav has the best face. Doesn't he, though? And the best. Go! The best face bringing the ball up court. He's got the best grimace. And the best headgear. Give me the ball. I was right there. I was right there. Oh, man. Rick Mahorn and Michael Rappaport. Rick, it's getting a little physical in there, Rick. A lot physical. Rick, John just made fun of you. I'm going to knock him out. No, I didn't. I was. I was talking about Oliver. Hey, Rick, Rick, we were just discussing the fact that your butt happens to be rather large, and I was just, hey, look, I was I'm agreeing with Steve. Man, I'm going to knock a few of your large ones out of there, too. All right. What you looking at, Flavor? Hey, how is the food in the penalty box? How is the food, Rick? Pretty good. Good. What are you going to do now? I'm about to shoot a three. All right. As soon as I get it back. Uh, Dean Kane. Come on, give it yeah. back to Rick. Yeah. Mark Jackson, he is stealing the, the show. Yeah. Mark Jackson is killing me. Is he, you think, yeah? Rick He's Moore. killing us. Is this uh, tougher than a Chuck Daly workout, Rick? No, not really. Right. Never gonna have no commercial. <laughs> I ain't got no commercial. They want, they want a commercial it's break the shoes. so they can it's rest. The shoes. No commercial. It's the shoes. I don't need no commercial. Ain't nobody gonna wear wow. your shoes. Marley. Where's Marley been? Thunder. I tell you what. Was John, he out having dinner? Where was he? I don't know. They must hey, have loved hey, that hey, down at Marley's four. Sports Bar and Grill in downtown Phoenix. Oh, they're going nuts down there. Unbelievable. Why do you think Jabbar right, right, held right, Marley out of the game yeah. for so long? Rick, oh, yes, that's good. Just uh, like uh, hold us looking for three, but Rick, Rick today. what happened, Rick? I thought it was a good try, though, Rick. I uh, know I did have some height in it. Rick, you almost hit somebody in the stands with that. Look at this <laughs> move by Divac over to Flavor Flav. That's no more. Hey, Rick, give us a little play-by-play -play hey, from hey, your hey. perspective. Well, let's see. Marley shooting the threes, nice. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, Rick Mahorn, show him what's what, Rick. You lucky. <laughs> you real lucky. <laughs> Look out for Flavor Flav. It was under your armpit. I thought it was. I thought he was my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Jackson heaves. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Bricklayers 56, the Violators 41. I'm the only one leading and I'm sitting on the bench. That's why you have to come sit down. Oh, my goodness. Kareem. The insurance wouldn't let us let you play. Don't argue with me. I will not play. Where's the general manager? Kelly. All right. Where's our general manager? Don't argue with the master. It's the man. He got more gorillas than the beach got sand. That's right, because he's the man. I'm bleeding in that plane. You know the cost of health care is going I got sky high, oh and God. we oh. have to get you out of there. Let's not get into that conversation, Mr. Clinton. That's a national problem. You got to deal with okay. it. I got to sit down on the bench because of the president's problemos. Two minutes remaining in the second period. The bricklayers by 15, 56 to 41. And with two minutes left in the quarter, you know what that means. They lower the special 25-point oh, basket. I'm so excited. Into place. And a newcomer to the game, a dramatic entrance by Doug E. Doug, uh, the star of Where I Live, ABC sitcom. I think he must have gone to the burn arena first instead of the burn. <laughs> yes, just a little late. He plays Douglas St. Martin, and boy, the Violators are happy to have him in uniform, trying to come back. I think he and Flav are going to team up to make an excellent, very skinny backcourt. Guess what? This is what I'm going to attempt to do, right? Skinny on a jump. Watch this. Y'all see that big 25-point basket up there, right? Flavor, Flav going for 25. Divac tries it as well. David Charvet loses to Divac. Dwayne Martin scoops it up down to Clifford Robinson. Robinson for 25, just underneath it. I really think the NBA should implement that into the game. Absolutely. Because it would completely energize hey, the final two minutes. Man. We could definitely have, have a high scoring game. Can't hand yourself. Take off some cheap sneakers. Are you really in cheap old sneakers? And Bill Bellamy really getting everybody's goat. What's up? And everybody's sheep. The Violators, I think, have one extra player. What do you think there, uh, John? Well, Flav just likes to be around the guys. I don't think he's actually playing. Well, it's actually it's six, but with Flav, it's five and a half. Right. Flav, I think, just enjoys to be around the team. We have six players. All right, hey, guys, you have six out here. We only play with five. Someone's up. Got a technical foul against the Violators. Technical foul. Look at this. They're hiding him. 
I don't. I don't see. They. They have five. I see five. I do too. I don't see flavor flavor. Need to go to Lance Crafters. Oh, they're, they're using Divots as their mathematician. You know that's wrong. Vladi Divots who learned to speak English by watching the Flintstones. His first English words, yeah, but dabba do. Oh, it's a T. It's a T. Hey, let's go, All guys. Right. Hey, wait a minute. Bill Bellamy pulling down the pants of Jimmy Jack. <laughs> that happens so often that amongst these roughnecks. Yes. <laughs> these ruffians of sport. You've seen them in the locker room, <laughs> hanging around the water cooler, spanking. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Go. Now, Jimmy Jackson trying a foul shot, trying to hit a 25-pointer. I don't think that's legal. That's the one thing in Rock and Jack that's not me. Hey, right, you still got six, you. Still got six. Well, I think the Violators still have six guys, despite all that conversation. Yeah. What's going on here? I don't know. Lover is still. We got another technical foul. Violators cannot count. Let's another go five only, guys. Five only. Hey, Bill, come on, sit down, man. Bill is pouting. <laughs> and there's the technical attempt. Again, no good. He need to go to Lance well, I'll, I'll get him next month. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Bellamy. Hey there, Mr. Majurgle. 48.6 seconds remaining in the second. Oh, here players we go. by 15. Look out. John Stewart. That was a rim rocker. I felt that. Deep in my loins. Yes, Clifford oh, yeah. Robinson. The defense. Charvet back in the game after he must up his hair a little bit. Now he's back and ready for action. As Dwayne Martin launches for 25. Oh. It hits the microphone. Does that count for anything, John? Uh, really cool sound. <laughs> oh, the first jam by Marley. Thunder Dan Marley. Steve Garman of the Black Crows trying to lay nice. one in for 25. Exactly. Most unorthodox. I think Marley is taking over. Jeff Ahmed of Pearl Jam for two. He's got a sweet jumper. As the buzzer sounds okay. to end the second quarter, it's the Bricklayers 58, the Violators 43. You know what? There, there actually seems to be some confusion going on around the benches. Daisy Fuentes, what is going on around the benches over there? I don't know. It's a little confusing here, you guys. You see, this guy thinks he's better than this guy. This guy is calling the other guy a chump, and there's a lot of mouthing off going on around here. If you ask me, there's only one way to settle this. That's the NBA slam dunk when we return. Check out the stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch and be rock and jock and jock. You're a true basketball fan, then you need to stick around because the second annual MTV Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam is in the house. Stick around, boy. <laughs> I think uh, we should always give our best efforts for any event for charity, especially something as important as this. Check out the stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch MTV rock. Welcome and back jock, to jock. MTV's third annual Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam, presented by Coca-Cola Classic. You know, while we were away, Steve, some of the NBA stars squared off in a slam dunk contest that had the crowd going nuts. Fortunately, Jason Fuentes was there to catch all the action. Slam! Slam! Another rock and jock first when our pros squared off in a slam dunk competition. After a brief warm up, the players were ready to jam and the crowd was ready to judge. Mr. Robinson kicked it all off with a thunderous one hander. You need to get up. Well advised, Gary Payton threw it down. Jimmy Jackson displayed impressive form. Whoa! But it was this innovative dunk that gave Oliver Miller the edge he needed to emerge victorious. Thanks, Stacey. We're here with the NBA slam dunk champion, Oliver Miller of the Phoenix Suns. And uh, Oliver, congratulations. I know this has to go up there with uh, some of the major awards that you've had in your life. Well, it's kind of tough because, you know, uh, slam dunk is not in my contract. It's, it's block shot, so uh, I'm very honored to win. Great job. Great job, Oliver Miller of uh, the Phoenix Suns and the Violators, but you got to get back into this game here, Oliver. I feel that I have to go back down and uh, shoot me a couple of 10-pointers and hit a 25-point. Absolutely. I'll be back. All I right. think you should try and sky for the 25-point. <laughs> See what you can do on that. All it's right. a mad rise. All right. We had nothing to do with it. Oh, what a play by Divac, lifting Flavor Flavor. They've been working together on that for a long, long time. Divac is also <laughs> going to be out public enemy on tour. I actually saw the Phoenix Suns work that into a play in a real NBA game. Is that true? But uh, it was whistled dead. But in Rock and Jock it goes. 
because we can do whatever. Anything we want. Mark Jackson with a His funny thing. Out. It's a funny thing flipping. Is this an earpiece or a hairpiece? It's something like that. Stephen Baldwin now. Look at the hustle by Mark Jackson, even with the earpiece flailing away at his ear. Do you think he's listening to the game or just a different game? He's listening to a Clippers game, I think, right now. Michael Rappaport yelling out a set play. Very impressive. Rappaport. There's the drive by Robinson. Cliff Robinson, who now wants to be referred to, John, as Clifford. Clifford is so much more distinguished. Isn't than it, though? Cliff. Isn't it, Jonathan? I feel that it is. Yes, thank you. Thank you, St uh, Stephen. Stephanie. Stephen. Ah, Stephen. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Clifford Robinson at the line. Still pouting. Oh, now he's doing a Mark Jackson thing. Yeah, Jackson will never let him get away with that. Hey, Ed, can you hear us? Ed hey, Greg Jones. Stay out of the lane here. Stay out of the lane. Ed hey, Lover, Greg. help him out on the line. Pull up to my bumper, baby. Look at this. Oh, we saw oh. this earlier, and uh, Cliff Robinson could not convert. Could he couldn't duplicate what Oliver Miller duplicated. <laughs> and not he's me. sulking over the fact that Oliver Miller won the slam dunk. That just reinforces it. Evans flips it back. Meanwhile, Flavor plays arguing with the referee and loses the ball. Exactly. Now Superman has it. <laughs> Dean wow. Payne. Look out. With a third. And Robinson threw a forearm shank to Rappaport on that play. And now he's throwing Rappaport around the court. Forearm <laughs> shank, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah! Barley! You know what's unusual? Cliff Robinson. Oh, I don't know. Is, really is, large men? Yes. Mark Jackson off. Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson. Cliff. usually wears headbands as a mood barometer. Yeah. Has shed the headband look tonight. I'm very disappointed. Usually wears a like a red headband when he's in a surly mood. Uh -huh. A white headband when he's in a good mood. A plaid headband when he can't make up his mind. This is the truth? Yes. What does he wear when he's just going out for a night with the fellas? That would be a green. Green headband. Dan Cortez Elliott. That was a remarkable play. And Cortez is shaking his butt like he owns the team. Beautiful alley-oop from walk, Cortez walk, walk. to Robinson. Let's check out a replay on that alley-oop from Cortez. I'll back into the zone. Look, at here it goes all the way up in the air. That is magic. 66-45, Bricklayers, five minutes to go in the uh, third. Do you think Stephen Baldwin has actually played basketball before? Well, he's got all those brothers. He's got almost enough for a basketball team. Uh -huh. You figured. Oh, yeah. I guess so. How many steps you gonna let him take? Let's see. He certainly hasn't learned hey, the protocol. There's uh, Alex Baldwin, step. Stephen Baldwin. Yes. Uh, Billy Baldwin, oh. Mark Baldwin, Al Baldwin, and Steve Baldwin. I, I really don't believe you should know that either. I'm very confused. There was a 10-pointer by somebody. Mark Jackson. Ten pointer. From, yes, from his head. Very He's nice. Puts the bricklayers far ahead. Uh, Rappaport is sad. Rappaport is sad. Mark Jackson, as you yes. notice, is scared to go on. Mark Jackson has 23 points on his way to an MVP. That's going to put Rappaport on the line. This is interesting. Yeah, this. Stephen Baldwin wants to pick a fight. It's like Jerry Twarry against Tommy Morrison. <laughs> 3 on the clock here in the third. Rick Layers lead it 76 55. Just a little reminiscent of magic. The ball handling wasn't exactly. Well, I didn't say oh, that was nice, but your dish but, uh, was lovely. The, the thoughts were there. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I should be coaching. If the feet don't move yeah, fast, the brain. Then your body won't betray you on those uh, checks that your mind runs. Right. You're right. 344 on the clock in the third. Bricklayers 76, Violators 55. We're here with the uh, Bricklayers, Stephen Baldwin. And Stephen, things getting very physical, very testy out there. Yeah, well, you know, we, we weren't planning on this sort of game to come down the pipe, but you know, Rappaport was bringing the ball down court. He started talking about Jackson. He's one of my brothers. He's on my team. I can't have that, you know? If there's anything I can do, it's stick up for one of my teammates. If I can't get a basket, then at least I'm going to have to, you know, if I got to knock somebody out, then I will. 
As, as John said, did you get into a lot of games with your uh, brothers? Absolutely. I've, I've had the snot beat out of me my whole life by him. <laughs> I like so, the way you put that. So now I'm going to just take it all out on all these other fellows. How about your sisters? I know you had a couple of sisters. Can they play ball? They beat the snot out of me as well. <laughs> Paul Johansson, Beverly Hills 90210. I got to go in for the 25, boys. All right, Steve. Pop him from 25. I'd love to see one. And now a flagrant foul on Flavor Flay. Let's go to you, Holland. Flagrant foul. Why are you trying to tell me I foul somebody? Hey, man, back up and live, man. You're Yo, in the penalty box? Yo, man, you better go to Mars with that, man. Yeah. Y'all queefing, man. You're queefing. Public what enemy belongs in the box. What y'all doing? Because you're an enemy. I ain't found nobody. I better back up and live. Then only enemy, you're a public enemy. What? You are a public enemy. You better back up and live, homie. I ain't found <laughs> nobody, you know what I'm saying? Tell them that they blind, baby. That's right, you're blind, baby. You're blind <laughs> from the facts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what a strength. Yo, man. Yeah. Yo, thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. You the man. 81 57 bricklayers, two and a half minutes left in the third. It's a power play for the bricklayers with Flavor Flav serving a one minute flagrant foul. What time foul. do I get out of here, man? You got nine seconds. What? Flav may never get out of Look out, he's, he's broken out of the sin bin with a hockey stick. Flavor Flav doing his Dave Schultz impersonation. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, the horn over the stick. Yo, man, what a rough, man. Here is the horn again. Yo, take me out the game, Bellamy G. chases down. I think. For icing. Two minutes left Time in the third out. quarter, uh, and you know what I that love. means. I love this part. Time for the 25 point basket over the cyborg. And we have an opportunity, not often, you get an opportunity to chat with a legend, and I don't mean John Stewart, I mean the Violators coach, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, as MTV makes history tonight. Kareem, how you doing? You have done a great job in assembling this ball club. <laughs> I have? Yes, you have. Well, that's wonderful. I'm glad that you're saying that. Um, it's news to you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> do you realize on, Do you realize that your all-time NBA scoring record is at stake tonight with this 25-point play? There's a lot more at stake than <laughs> yeah. that. Yes, like your reputation. Like my sanity. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Gene. Here's Joe Hansen. Oh! It got oh, stuck! Wow. What's that one? Now, now, now what? I, I guess we have to go home now. That is worth 12 and a half points, I think. It's got to be. Does anyone have a gun? <laughs> Or a very tall person? Yes, we have a very tall person. He's making an entrance, John. Kareem. Can he do it on one try? Yes. Uh, the man is a Hall of Famer. He is a Hall of Famer. That's why he's the greatest. Absolutely. Kareem, boy. Run on Kareem, boy. I haven't forgot that much, at least. That was the play over the day. Let's take another look at that, too. I'd love to see another look at that. Here comes Kareem. He just notice he just sizes it up. Bang. Gorgeous. Kareem, you look a little nervous out there. I notice you're biting your nails. You're very pensive. Well, we have a new player. Yes. Basketball hit. There's another turnover. Mark Jackson going for 25, but he hits two. That's the second time he's done that in this game. He has mastered that play. How do you think basketball hit is going to have an impact on this game? He's dribbling already. I, I don't mean the basketball. <laughs> a 25-point try again. Another 20-point point try by Johansson. Mark Jackson saves it between the legs. Ed Lover from 10. Ed Lover, UN TV reps, looking to be the first 25-point scorer. Long pass down to Miller. Double pumps it. No for 25. No for 25. Tries a 25 footer just short. But sinks it for two. <laughs> and hits a two. Basketball head so eating it up. This is hilarious. 25 seconds left in the third. Oh, no. I think basketball head is a superhero. Oh, I don't even think he's a regular there. player. Here's Robinson for 25. Almost hit a two. The Violators need that 25 to get back in the game. I think so. They're down 83 59. 10 seconds left in the third. Oh! Exactly what they needed. Oliver Miller. And the buzzer sound. Unbelievable. And just like John Sacker said, they are back in it. The Violators hitting a 25 point shot. We got to take a look at that again. That was an amazing shot. Here it is. The first 25.
five-point shot in history. Three quarters are done, and it's now the Violators 84, the Bricklayers 83. Now, get ready for one of the year's top songs. Whoop, here they are, Tag Team. Tag Team music in full effect. That's me, DC, the Brain Supreme, and my man Steve Bromley. We're kicking the flow, we're kicking the flow, and we're gonna do it something like this. Tag team, back again. Check it directly, let's begin. Party on, party people, let me hear some noise. DC's in the house. Jump, jump, rejoice, says a party on. Yeah. Party of a hey. heavy hands in the air, shake the dairy, yeah. These three words when you're getting busy. Come on. Woo. There it is, hit me. Woo. What? Woo. Inside out, I'm about to show all you folks what it's all about. Now it's time for me to get on the mic and make this tag team party hype. I'm taking it back to the old school, cause I'm an old fool who's so cool. If you wanna get down, I'ma show you the way. Woo! There it is, let me hear you say woo! Come on, y'all! Woo! A little louder! Woo! Come on, y'all! Woo! Louder! Woo! Chin the juice, I drink it, bit and bit. As I puff on dank, rock a mic. Uh oh, I crave skin, rip it, find a honey, dip the dip it in. Slam dunk, it, stick it, flip it, and rock that B double O T Y. Oh my, who that's it? Come on, come on, who? It is, I'm gone. Yes, we do, John. The AT&T Long Distance Three-Point Shootout, a celebrity slam dunk contest, and the game's frantic final five minutes. So stick around because it's all coming up right after this. Stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch and be rock and jock and jock and Welcome back rock to jock, MTV's jock. Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam. Before we kick off the final quarter of play, Daisy Fuentes recaps our star-studded celebrity AT&T long-distance shootout and slam dunk contests. The celebrity three-point shootout proved once again that our pros have absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah, boy! Although K 
KG made a valiant effort, it was Steve Gorman who grabbed the trophy. Boom! You shoot 14% and you win a trophy. Gorman tried to make a clean sweep as he kicked off the slam dunk contest with a 360 stop. Take this out. And while Flavor Flav proved to be no threat to the competition, Paul Johansson tried to freeze it with a nifty two-handed slam dunk. Flashy Michael Rappaport provided himself with a memorable moment. But in the end, it was Dwayne Martin who soared above the competition to become our slam dunk king. We are just about ready for the fourth and final quarter here at the Brent Event Center at the University of California, Irvine. Five minutes. Five minutes on the clock for the fourth quarter. And it's the Violators 84, the Bricklayers 83. And we're here with the coach of the Violators, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Kareem, I'm sure you have to be extremely pleased with the uh, turn of events here. I certainly am, but I, I sure hope you don't expect me to explain anything. <laughs> well, that's why we have John Stewart here. My dad told me about uh, in the 30s when he went to the Renaissance Ballroom in Harlem, and they would have a, a basketball game, and then after the basketball game, they would have a dance. I guess this is the same type of thing. Yes. But it's that was updated a 10-pointer from Jackson. Good analogy, Kareem. Perfect analogy. It is now 93, 84. The bricklayer suddenly, uh, what, Mark Jackson hit a 10 pointer and Kareem point is down. Yeah, those 10 point shots can definitely swing a game for you. The killers. Clifford Robinson doing a little strike. You know, Kareem, the minute you leave the bench and you leave your players alone, they're going downhill. You got I think you got to get back over there and rally the troops. It's, it's real bad when Ed Lover is over at my bench coaching and destroying all my game plan. Everything you built, he's destroying. It's all, it's all good. I heard of cross-dressing, but cross-coaching, I don't cross know. Cross-coaching doesn't work. It's wrong. They need you, Kareem, badly. There's Ed. Look at this. He's sulking even on your side of the bench. I put a firecracker. Yeah. Is there any chance we might see Kareem get into the game here? You don't want to see that. No. Oh, okay. Kareem not coming out of retirement tonight because you, you can't add. ugly things. Yeah. You can add to your all-time NBA total with points here tonight. You are aware of that, aren't you? I'm, I'm afraid I'll end up looking like Oliver Miller, who's 0 for 15 from three-pointers. <laughs> ah. Ten-pointer there, John. The Canadian is pulling them back into the game. That's yes, Paul oh. Johansson. It is now a one-point game. 95 to 94, Bricklayers with 320 and counting in this five-minute fourth quarter. You no, know, Johansson played for my high school coach in Canada. My, host, my high school coach went on to coach oh, the Canadian right. national team. Is that Jack? Uh, Jack Donahue. Donahue, you're right. I know he's looking on in shame right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson's got the ball right now. He's got the fire in his eye. He's got the fire. I see something ugly coming. Marcel, this is Marcel. Ah! I've been waiting for this for years since I recruited. Mark Gary Jackson. Payton at St. John's University. That's it. Ah, uh, they say a New York point guy got more moves than the Egyptian belly dancer. Here I go. <laughs> New York versus Oaktown, and New York wins. Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson, walk, walk, walk. Mark Jackson that was stunning. Well Kareem done. Is from New York. He understands. See, here's it. another example of these kind of games. Oliver Miller's bringing the ball up. It's, uh, I know it's his fantasy. He, he won't get to do this again in life. <laughs> so here we go. Oliver looking very svelte. Paul Johansson. Hey, can you do that? What is going on? That's fair. Yeah, yeah, that works. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. The gorilla getting into the act. They're in the you know penalty box. In the penalty. The gorilla, get in, get in the gorilla the has a box. higher shooting percentage Let's right now than Oliver the, Miller. Yeah, isn't that sad? Here's a replay. Let's take a look at that gorilla. Kareem, what do you think of this? Well, this is a typical play of things that happen in Phoenix in their new <laughs> arena. They have things like this going on all the time. Oh, the gorilla's in a cage now. How sad. I'm going to be the player coach, all right, Kareem? One of my players asking if he can be player coach. Oh man, what is going on here? Mike Rappaport, he's starting a mutiny. Yes, true romance. Mike Rappaport coming up to two minutes, and that means the 25 point basket will be reset. Here's Michael. Kareem's Michael Rappaport. And don't worry, Kareem, with two minutes to go, we're going to send you right back to your bench so you can coach the last, the all important last two minutes. Gary Payton from 10. Gary Payton leave puts him ahead. 10 points out. I think I should leave on that. Note. Kareem leaves with a smile. Thank you very much. All right. Violators 104. Yeah, Bricklayers 97. Two minutes to go in the game. And don't go away. More rock and jock coming up. Alan and Juice are like Tupac.
Check out the stop and block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch him be rock and jock and jock and jock. Legend in his own time. Legend in his own mind. Well, basically, that's what I'm trying to say, but you know. Always like Bill Russell better. <laughs> Block, pop and block, block a shot, stop and watch him BB rock and jock and jock. Two minutes remaining in the ball game. It is the Violators 104, the Bricklayers 97. It is compelling, it is dramatic. Keep in mind the Bricklayers are the two time defending rock and jock B ball champs. Only three teams have been able to three peat Chicago, Boston, and Minneapolis. And the ball is now in play with two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. 104-97, it's a seven-point Violators lead. I don't know that the Violators have ever had the lead this late in the game. It's a different position for them. Thanks to a 25-point basket by Oliver Miller. The 25-point basket being implemented here in the final two minutes. Long pass intended for Flavor Flav. He saves the ball, but it's stolen by Stephen Baldwin. He saves it for Bill Bellamy, though. Bellamy, no! Gary Payton with the rebound. 25-pointer just off. Here comes Mark Jackson of the Bricklayers. His team down seven. Clifford Robinson twirls it in. Takes the easy two. Tightens the gap, John, the 104-99. The Violators up five. Another dramatic finish. Ball stolen away by the Bricklayers. That is pocket picked. Big play. Mark Jackson can't connect. 25. trouble right now. It looks like it might be a 3 P. Jackson going for 25. Kept alive by Bahorn. A hook shot for 25. I think it was a hook. 43 seconds left. A 20-point bricklayer lead. Marley for 25. He got two instead. How do you like that? Two-pointer for Dan Marley. Two-pointer. And timeout with 32 seconds left. Same five. Same five. 20. Hey, look, if you ain't got the 25 pointer, shoot a 10. Don't let them shoot no 25 pointer and beat me and embarrass me in front of my mother who's watching right now, punk. Miss Love, you watching? I can't believe the bricklayers are going for the three peat here, and they are way in control. Thanks to the 25 pointer by Clifford Robinson. Let's go into the violators huddle and find out what's going on in terms of their strategy. We need him. Get the ball to Marley and let him shoot. All right. All right yo, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. There's your strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Get the ball to Marley and let him shoot. Kareem is a basketball genius. That sounds marvelous. All right, now we are set to resume as the drama builds. 32 seconds left. Bricklayers lead at 124-106. Violators have to find a way to get the ball back and hit a 25-pointer. 30 Stole it. from a three-peat. The Violators steal. Steve Ott for a layup from 25. Marley, no. Desperate straights for the Violators. Oh. Long pass down to Rick Mahorn. Looking for 10. 15 seconds remaining. The Violators, desperate. Miller for 25. Miller for 25. But he was fouled. He was fouled. He'll have 25 foul shots to take now. No, that won't count. That won't count. Kareem is loving it. 8.5 seconds on the clock. Michael Rapport says the bench is concocting a play. Very interesting. And you can't say concocting on MTV. Will he try to bounce it off and go for 25? Yes! No! a dynasty there is no question what a wild scene here it's like new year's eve the brick players have done it john unbelievable ed lover coach of the year as far as i'm concerned brilliant strategy
Well, they are still going wild here at California Irvine. Balloons, confetti, just an incredible scene as the bricklayers three-peat beating the violators in compelling fashion, 124 to 107. And with that, we are set to throw it into the locker room for Daisy Fuentes, who is standing by with the Coca-Cola Classic Co-MVPs. The bricklayers took the whole thing, and they were led by these two guys. It is Mark Jackson, Steve Gorman. I feel like a winner. This is absolutely incredible. I do my Michael Jordan the imitation. We three on Michael Jordan ain't got nothing on us. Nothing on us. The Bulls ain't got nothing on us. They better catch up with us. Bill Bellamy and those guys are a little bit bitter, but that's going to happen. You get no love for Mark Jackson. Next year, next year I'm bringing, like, you know, brass knuckles or something. I'm not used to these 25-point shots. Who hit it, Cliff? Oh, unbelievable! Shot by Cliff! Unbelievable! Big 45. Good job, Clifford. Did Mark Jackson get MVP, man? This guy's over here dissing like the other ball players, like his band disses all the other bands, huh? Is that what's going on over here? No, just you and your band. It should have been you, though, man. You was the most clumsiest white boy out there. Well, the mood out here on the floor is a little bit more somber because we are standing next to Paul Johansson and Oliver Miller, the Coca-Cola Classic co-MVPs for the losing of Violators. Just couldn't pull it out, man. Another disappointing end of the season for me. Oh, man. Hang on a second. Don't cry, Oliver. Did nobody call Jack it. Wayne? The first human in history to hit the 25-point shot. Oh, Ten seconds left in the third. Yeah. Oh, yeah! He's done it! Hopefully I can... Get rid of this feeling and go on to the NBA and win a championship there. So the third annual Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam comes to a close, John. Yeah. And we saw a little bit of everything, a lot of highs and lows, and the bricklayers three-peat. I feel like coach of the year. We saw everything. Bench clearing brawl. All the benches have emptied. It's a free All the brawl. benches have emptied. The place is going wild. I feel like I deserve something. Uh, the first 25-point shot in history. Ten seconds left in the third. Yeah. Oh! I feel like there should be something coming my way. We saw a legend come out of retirement. Violator coach, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's great to see him coming out of retirement. I deserve a little what? bit of something, you know what I mean? You deserve a little I bit of something. Take some breath. The most important thing about this game for a very worthy cause, the Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Absolutely. No That's my coach here. I wasn't exactly talking about that. So for John Stewart, Daisy Fuentes, our entire crew, Steve Albert saying so long, everybody. See you again next year.